Kent and I arrived early for the tree planting, probably about an hour before everybody else. We figured we'd get started on some of the holes, get a little bit ahead. Just want to show you how hard the work of planting trees is. This is some rocky soil, it's all built on fill. Highly, highly fertile soil because of all the knotweed that's been there, but hard digging. This is the site that we are digging. This picture was taken just um, south of where Kat was, was digging that hole. Um, it kind of gives you a shot of all the field. When, when I first started working here, this was all Japanese knotweed. You can see the Japanese knotweed along the edges. It's pretty tall. That's last year's crop. And this is, you know, moving in. But you can see how in the far end, the trees are a lot bigger. We started planting down there. We've worked our way up to the north. This is a close-up of the knotweed. We transplanted this tree in about three years ago, and this past year it grew more than three feet. Down, you can see how big it is on the ground, and that's, pretty, that's still pretty substantial stuff. We knocked it down, you can walk around. When we get back in there, you can see the knotweed is much different where it's been knocked down. One of the goals of this project of planting trees at Collier Field is to suppress the Japanese knotweed, which seems not to grow very well in the shade. In this site, you're seeing how small the stems are, and this is in the area of the oldest forest. It's a real contrast to what the knotweed looked like on the ground, where there's lots of sun. It is a lot of water. It's a great little river. While it's a great river, it's also a highly polluted river full of all kinds of trash. Now that you've had a tour, we're back to tree planting. I wanted to show everybody who showed up, all eight of us, and I wanted to show all the various phases of, of planting. Everybody here is digging their holes. You saw Ket doing his hole earlier, but these are the rest of the holes coming. six holes and plant six trees and there's Irma working on her hole. Becky and Judy teamed up to dig this hole. delivering a little compost. Now you get to watch the technique for getting a tree out of the bucket so you can plant it. You get the bucket off, you kind of smush it around and loosen up the roots and there we go.
I'm doing here is helping Ket make sure the tree isn't planted too low. The base, the, right where the tree meets the soil, that needs to be above the rest of the soil. So we're putting some dirt back in the hole so that the tree will sit up higher. Ket's now backfilling. We like to put a little moat around the trees so that when you water them from the bucket, the water doesn't all run off and take your soil with it. We get our water to water the trees from the river. And every once in a while, you dip the bucket in the river and you find something interesting. Watch this guy and watch what he does with the spider that he comes up on pretty soon. the ecosystems of creatures like this that we do this work.